So friends, in this video, I'm gonna show you two late night snacks that I'm making that won't ruin your diet. Because I've lost 130 pounds and I've kept it off for seven years. And at the beginning of my journey, late night eating was one of my biggest struggles. Once I started eating late at night, I couldn't stop. And it made it very hard for me to lose the weight. So I decided fighting it wasn't working. Um, it would just make it worse. So I decided what if I build a late night snack into my meal plan and see if it helped. So what I did was I built a low calorie, tasty and filling snack that I would look forward to for a late night, every single night into my meal plan. What it did was because it was low calorie and it was tasty and filling, it satisfied my late night snack craving and allowed me to stay eating a calorie deficit so I could look forward to what I was doing, stick to what I was doing and it helped me lose the weight, keep it off, for, like I said, seven years, and now this strategy is also helping me with my new goal, which is to get as lean and fit as I possibly can. And I just came up with these two late night snacks that are like super tasty and I wanted to try out, so I thought I would make them on camera in this video with you guys and share them with you in case late night eating is also a struggle for you, and maybe these snacks can help you on your weight loss journey as well. So the first one I came up with was a birthday cake protein muffin, all because I've seen this Kodiak Power Cakes. I'm not sponsored, I just seen this at Walmart and I really wanted to try it. So it's the birthday cake, power cake, flapjack and waffle mix, but I wanted to make muffins out of it. So I'm calling this a birthday cake protein muffin and I'll show you like a little low calorie frosting that I'm gonna top it with. So what I did, was I preheated my oven to 350 degrees and I sprayed, this is gonna make six muffins, so I sprayed six tins in a 12 cup muffin pan thingy with cooking spray. And then I mashed a very ripe banana, I would call that a large size banana. Then I dumped it in a large bowl. I melted a eighth cup of light margarine. I like the Basel light, it's my favorite one. I melted it in the microwave for about 15 seconds and I poured that in with the mashed banana. Then I added a third cup of the silk unsweetened vanilla almond milk, a quarter cup of the Truvia brown sugar blend, a large egg and two teaspoons of vanilla. I whisked all that together and then I folded in one cup of the birthday cake um, protein pancake mix from Kodiak and I folded it all in very gently until just combined. You don't want to over mix it because then the muffins can get really tough. And I baked them at 350. I started with 10 minutes, but they needed a little more. So after that, I added another eight minutes for a total of 18 minutes for the six muffins. And what I love about this mix is it had sprinkles in it. So it's like already birthday cake muffin without adding any sprinkles. And I'm gonna top them on camera in a minute, but I just wanna tell you the calories. For one muffin without the frosting, it's 154 calories, but I'm gonna add some frosting. So this is what I'm gonna do for the frosting. I'm gonna take some plain Greek yogurt. This is the 2% and this is from Walmart. Let's see, do we have a tablespoon left in here? Now this, this topping, because it's Greek yogurt, it's best to do it fresh when you're gonna eat the muffin. So that's why I'm only gonna do frosting for one muffin at a time because I'll eat this for my late night snack tonight. Well, right now is my late night snack. <laughs> then I'm gonna take a teaspoon of this fat-free vanilla pudding mix. Now in Canada, when it says fat-free, it is also sugar-free. So in case you're wondering, this is sugar-free. Teaspoon of this. This is kind of an experiment, so let's see if this will create a good frosting. So we're just gonna stir this up until it's well combined. 
Hey, it looks like buttercream. It, it does actually. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take it. Hmm, which muffin is the cutest? What's no, not that one. This one's the cutest. <laughs> Sassy, you funny cutie. And then let's um spread it on. It's actually fairly spreadable. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Gotta get it all. You don't wanna waste it, guys. Okay, so now look how cute that is, Seth. And now we're gonna take we're gonna take some rainbow sprinkles and open this up. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you went to beast mode there for a yeah, second. Yeah, it was hard to open. I'm gonna take an eighth teaspoon of these rainbow sprinkles okay. and sprinkle it over top. <gasps> wow, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Calories for the muffin with the frosting and the sprinkles, 176 calories, seven grams of protein, six grams of fat, and 26 grams of carbs. So that's like a super tasty snack. It's not gonna ruin your diet. It's not gonna ruin my diet, and it's gonna keep me full and satisfy my cravings. Next one. I'm very excited about this because whenever it's summer, I crave s'mores like crazy. So I came up with this s'mores protein pudding parfait. And there she is. She is a beauty. I took three quarters of a cup of the silk unsweetened vanilla almond milk and I put it into a large bowl. And then I added two tablespoons of fat-free Jello, the chocolate pudding mix. And of course, again, it is sugar-free, even though it says only fat-free. And then I added two tablespoons of one of my favorite proteins, um, Huddled, harder than last time. We are sponsored by Huddled. S'mores is one of my favorite flavors that they have. I did half a scoop, which is about 17 and a half grams, if you're weighing it on a scale. Uh, the link for the protein is down below if you would like to get some. Or if you don't have the s'mores, you can just use regular chocolate protein powder, any one that you want. So I whisked the milk, the protein powder. But s'mores is better. But s'mores is better, of course. But if you don't have it, chocolate will work. So I mixed the protein powder, the pudding, and the, the whisk, and the milk together with a whisk. I whisked it all up until it started to thicken, and then I set it aside, and I took one sheet of graham crackers so it's the the one sheet is like the four small crackers and I saved one of the four small crackers to the side and I put I like to crush my graham crackers on a paper towel um, with the back of a spoon I find it's easier to contain them and you don't have to get a bag and do all the mashing so I put th those three crackers on a paper towel folded the paper towel in half to cover the graham crackers, crushed it with the back of a spoon until I liked it, and then I put it in the fancy glass at the very bottom for the graham cracker crusty. Then I topped the graham crackers with the pudding, and then I topped the pudding with two tablespoons of mini marshmallows, a teaspoon of the Hershey's mini chocolate chips, I took that last piece of graham cracker and I crushed it up into little small pieces, sprinkled that on top, and then I drizzled one teaspoon of regular chocolate sundae syrup over top. I would have used low calorie, but I can't find it anywhere, so I just use a teaspoon of the regular. And for this entire parfait, this lovely glass here, you're looking at 274 calories, 15.5 grams of protein, 5.6 grams of fat, and 40.1 grams of carbs. What? Two tasty late night snacks that won't ruin your diet. Can you even believe it? And now the friends be gonna do a taste test. So let's taste the Rooney Death one. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, that tastes like a cupcake. You would never know that that is Greek yogurt on the top, and you wouldn't know that that was made with protein pancake mix. It's amazing. You feel like you're eating a cupcake. All right, guys, let's go get some graham cracker. Oh, yeah. Come on, Grammy. Get some Grammys at the get bottom. Some Grammys. <gasps> Mm. 
Mmm. I think I just went to heaven. <laughs> When you were mixing it up with that s'mores protein and the, the chocolate jello and stuff, I could already smell it was gonna be amazing. Oh my gosh. The friends, if you try either of these, you are not gonna believe that they're low calorie and that they're made with the ingredients that they're made from. And that is why I've been able to lose 130 pounds and keep it off for so long. Me too, we gotta like our food. Yep, you have to love what you're eating and find the trouble spot and I put a meal there or a snack so that it helps keep me on track. We like to end meals like dinner, lunch with a sweet treat at the end, same with the end of the day. Exactly. And instead of stopping the late night eating, which was just causing more problems, I just put a tasty snack like this there and then it sets me up for success. If you wanna know exactly what I ate to lose the weight, click down below two links. I have two weight loss ebooks Links are down there along with the link for the protein and my brand new guilt-free cookbook. Link is down there as well. Or you can watch one, two vids for free <laughs> to see exactly how I love my food and get lean but not lean. Lean but not me. <laughs> and love my food and love my life. Enjoy my journey. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Late night snacks that are super cute. Late night snacks find a rhyming word at the end there. Late night snacks, you're super cute. Late night snacks, the look at you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's okay, okay. I, I'm taking that out of the <laughs> video anyway, so it won't matter that you can't rhyme. It's fine, I'm a cool rapper. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. Peace the friends, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it, you can do it.